It's a Monday and there's a video coming out and you guys know what that means. New games, there's quite a few new titles actually being released this week. Some exclusive to next gen, not gonna lie, but a lot that are available across all platforms. Now before we get into the video, one quick thing that I need to ask you guys and I need you to leave a comment in the comment section down below to let me know. When we do the drop video, mostly we cover all the games that are available on PlayStation. Now obviously some of you guys are gonna play on Xbox, some of you guys are gonna play on the Switch, some on PC as well. Any exclusive games, I'm just curious if you guys want me to mention these, if I think there's anything worth picking up. So any Xbox exclusives, Switch exclusive, that sort of thing, that are being released that week. Leave a comment down below, and if enough of you guys want to see um, new games for other consoles as well, then we'll kind of blend it into one video, but let's get into it. Now, the first game is a game that is already available on PC. It's a game that I already own, and I've played it for a little bit. And the problem is, I think a lot of you guys are going to have a bit of hate for this just because it's a bit of a rip-off of another game. And it's a bit of a Pokemon rip-off. I'm not going to lie, the way that the game plays and everything, the mechanics, the lot. But nevertheless, it's a pretty cool, pretty decent game. And the fact that it's coming out on PlayStation, I think is absolutely amazing. I'm really surprised Nintendo's actually letting this come out. And it's a game called Temtem. Now, when I say it's a bit of a Pokemon ripoff, I mean literally. You'll start off, you'll get your character, you'll go around, you'll pick a starter, Temtem slash Pokemon. And that's that's kind of the beginning of your journey. You'll go around, you'll go into long grass, a wild Temtem will appear, you'll battle it, make its health go down. And instead of throwing a Pokeball at it to catch it, you throw a card at it instead. And once you've caught it, you've got it there to battle. Same usual thing, you walk around, you beat trainers, you battle the trainers, and yeah, it literally plays the same as Pokemon with one massive, massive difference. The full game is online, so while you're playing this and you're running around, you can actually play it with other people, you can meet up with your friends, run around, catch Temtem with your friends, and it's pretty cool. I am really, really surprised that it's coming out on console just because of the fact that it is a bit of a rip-off. And any Pokemon fans out there are probably going to hate this. Anyone that's been into Pokemon in the past that's looking for something like this to play on console might love it. Personally, I played it, I enjoyed it, but I've got a Switch. I'd rather play Pokemon, but nevertheless, it's a pretty decent looking title. The second one, we wouldn't be able to do this video without mentioning it. It's Cyberpunk. Now, Cyberpunk, the one thing that I'll say about this that's worrying me a little bit is I've seen a bit of the gameplay, and it looks nice. It doesn't look as nice as I thought it could do, though. Uh, the map doesn't seem that big, but there's a lot of verticality into it. So rather than massive open spaces going through the countryside, literally everything's built up. I think near enough, every single building that's been built into this game is accessible, and then each one's got loads of different floors to explore. I'm sure it's going to be a really, really cool game. It's just I am a little bit worried about it. When we first saw the trailer, the preview for this, it looked amazing. And then the second little bit of gameplay for it where we saw Keanu Reeves again, he looked like a completely different person and it just did not look right. Now, I have actually seen a few people playing this game. The gameplay for it does look okay. Um, I'm just curious to see what it's going to be like when I actually get my hands on it myself. But the final one is a game that's not going to be for everybody. Um, it's a game called Monster Truck Championship. Now, it has been a while since i played anything that's got monster trucks in it, especially like a monster truck simulator style game. Now this, it's got all the usual events, it's got drag races and all that sort of stuff. The mechanics of monster trucks always have intrigued me just because of the fact of how big they are, the brutalness of some of the fights and when you have accidents, just how crazy it looks. Curious to see how this comes across in game, but it looks pretty cool. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, I've been debating whether or not to add other console games to this. So, for example, this week on Xbox, if you're an Xbox gamer or a PC gamer, there's a game called Call of the Sea Out that looks really, really cool, but normally I wouldn't mention that sort of stuff in the video. It's an open-world adventure-style game, and at the moment, I've really, really been enjoying like the cartoon-style graphics, which I think is why I love Sea of Thieves so much, and this kind of... Just looking at the opening bit of a trailer where it showed like the ocean and the forests and stuff, it kind of gave me a little bit of Sea of E vibes. Obviously, completely different style of game though, but nevertheless, looks really, really cool. And again, when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, there's a game out this week that looks really, really cool. Now, I know it's already available on other platforms anyway, but it's a game called Ghost Runner. Now, if you like the idea of, say, a parkour game where you fight like a ninja, then Ghost Runner's probably the game that's for you. It looks beautiful. 
Obviously, on Switch, it's going to look slightly less graphically satisfying than it does on other consoles and on PC and stuff. But it does look like a really, really fun game. But I know a lot of you guys play specifically just on PlayStation, but some of you guys also play on like Switch and Xbox as well. If you want me to include those style of games on these sort of videos, even when we do like the um, the deals of the week, that sort of stuff, if you want me to look at deals on other consoles, leave a comment down below. If you want me to stick to purely PlayStation, leave a comment that simply says PlayStation. If you want me to do other stuff as well, just leave a comment that says like all consoles. I'll read through them. Whichever one kind of gets the most is what I'm going to stick with. But that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, a like it'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. But thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time.